Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Ratona, uh, which is another spelled backwards, um, so it's a game about, uh, it's a puzzle platformer, and it's a girl trapped between two worlds, parallel universes. Um, I don't know much more about it. The game is going to be released later today, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. Just a blind first look. Let's head in. There's a farmer's market in the plaza today. Hmm, what time is it now? Looks like this girl's got a bunk bed. Um, so we want to move to the door. Press X to open the door. Musi! Musi is a wooden eagle that has been with Retona since she was a small child. Musi can take Retona anywhere. Move to the platform and join Musi. Uh, press A to jump. You can change direction during jump by. Okay. Press X to activate Muzi. Hurry up, please. It's a flying statue eagle. What happened? Where is everyone? There seems to be something shiny there. Get the key! Uh, okay, so all the people disappeared, it looks like. Um, hmm. Okay. It's really hard to see which platforms you can jump onto. There's a voice behind the gate. There's a voice behind the gate. It seems that someone is calling my name. This looks like a key. It is. Is it used to open the gate? I should go and check. So yeah, it is really hard to see which platforms you can actually jump on. Why is that? I don't know. Man, yeah, whatever. Press X to open the gate. The world is jumbled! <laughs> what happened just now? How did I get home? Exit through the door. Okay. Find yourself. Find myself. There's a lot of confusion in my mind. Many strange things happened in the plaza. I need to go back and see what's going on. So if we need to go back to the plaza, we need to... Take our flying bird. Uh-oh. I can feel that music is still there, but I can't see or feel its presence. So here's where the puzzle platforming seems to come in. The plaza seems to have fallen into ruin, but the key and the gate are still there. I didn't see a single person on my way here. It feels like a ghost town. I have a strange feeling that I must know what lies on the other side of the gate. Stay facing forward when you're beside a box, so when you can push it out of the direction. Push the box to the target position to press the laser pressure switch. Don't touch the laser. When the laser pressure switch is pressed, blue laser emitter is turned off. The red laser emitter cannot be turned off. Okay. Get the key. Is 
After getting the key, Retona will be able to open the gate and travel between the two worlds repeatedly. Who is that? Who are you? I don't feel right. Press B. What did I? Press A to continue. The illusion, did I make it happen? In the light world, Retina can create illusions in a group position that will change the shadow world. The number of bars in the upper left corner determines the number of illusions that can be created in a current level. You, are you helping me? Create another illusion in the same position as the stars that the mysterious girl is pointing. Jump to the white star position. Press B. Well, how do I get over there? Wait. She's gone. Move to the gate and press X to open it. I'm not sure what just happened. Uh, why do I need to create an illusion there? I have no idea. I am so confused. But that's okay. Uh, that takes me to the dark world. What is this? This is very similar to the plaza, but it also seems to be different just now. Uh, just like the two sides of the same page. The illusions that are created have all turned into stone. In the shadow world, illusions will form a stone illusion that can be used as a platform or barrier and also to press the laser pressure switch or bubble pressure switch. The purple stone and vine in the environment have different shapes in the two worlds that determine whether they have entities in the current world. Um, okay. In the shadow world, unstable boxes will be broken, unstable boxes will not. Take the puzzle piece. Missy, I think I'm starting to understand, but I need to get out of here soon. After getting memory fragment, Missy will reappear in the shadow world, and Retina will need to reach Missy before going to the next level. Missy, let's get out of here. The world seems broken. Everyone has disappeared. Except for me and the mysterious girl. I don't know what happened. But when I got this puzzle piece, some memories that don't belong to me have somehow imprinted themselves on my mind. This may take me to the answer. Vines will wither in the shadow world, anything above will fall, you should think of a way to place a new platform under it. Each of Retina's special actions will be displayed in the upper left corner, press Y to rewind the most recent action, the function will be temporarily disabled in the tutorial, press right bumper to restart the level quickly. That's nice. Okay. Whoops. Accidentally pushed that too far. Um, okay. So. 
That's an unstable piece, right? Uh, so the vine will wither. This is going to be. This I don't know if this is going to do anything, but so the vine withered. Oh, you can't move those things. Hmm. Well, now what do you do? Okay, so they come back. So I just press Y to go back, but uh, I'm not sure. So this thing will come to be more of a solid piece in the other world. This will shrivel. This will fall. Let's just keep on backing up. I'll see what happens. Hmm. Let's just uh, restart. Get an achievement for restarting, huh? Is that the right thing to do? What does that accomplish? Doesn't accomplish much. Now, if I could push on boxes, that would certainly be useful. Gone ahead and push those two boxes together. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Hmm. If I push this over to the right, it'll just do me the exact same thing I had before. Oops, I meant to uh, go through the gate, but I accidentally pushed undo instead. Oops. Oh my gosh. At least the game makes it easy, it, the, the quick restarts. This doesn't get pushed around, correct? Yeah, it does not. So how... Oh, I need to stack something on top of here. How can I stack something on top of there? When I have... Oops. Hmm. How do I stack something on top of there? the only place I seem to be able to push this thing. Let's uh, go through again, take a look.
Now these red ones, we, oops, these red ones we can't turn off, right? So we can't turn off the red ones. Gotta block them off somehow. That means making a stack of these blocks. Let's, uh, let's restart this level again. Um, starting to get the feel of the game, but, uh, the first puzzle is completely baffling to me. I guess we'll go around and collect that. Let's go through. Oh, I can't. I need the key. Hmm. If I grab the key... The only way to... Grab the key is by coming down here and grabbing the key like so. And the only way after getting the key to get through is by pushing this through here. What am I missing? And the only way to do that is by pushing that there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I am completely baffled. And I get the exact same thing as I had before. Basically, stuck. So that doesn't move. What on earth is going on? I am just so clueless about this. That is the only way to get out, as far as I can see. I mean, I couldn't have left this thing. Hmm. I couldn't have left it out over here, where I can actually jump over the top. Can't pull anything, it seems like. Haha. Uh -huh. I forgot. I could do the stuff like that. Well, let's make a... Whoops. Hmm. Well, we'll make a shadow block there. love to make a shadow block there and I can't make another one let's just see what happens I totally forgot that you could make a oh wait 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 the shadow does not fall So, if the shadow block doesn't fall... So what we need is... Right, it doesn't move. I'm... Hmm. I'm just not seeing this. I am just not seeing this. Alright, what if we create a block there? What 
does that do? I have no idea. Let's find out. What? What just happened? Alright, that was clearly not the solution. It just turns the stable block plus the um you just turn the stable block Okay, let's just uh, put that there. If it's a block that doesn't fall at all. so confused. I'm going to restart again. What is it that I'm missing? get in there, you have to do that, right? Oh, man. That wasn't so hard. I just... For whatever reason, couldn't think of it. Uh, well... Like how many times do I have to try something? Now wait a second, if I get over there and grab the block, the puzzle piece... Oh, I don't have to go back to the door. I was thinking, how do I get back to the door? I just gotta get to the eagle that shows up. Wow, that took forever. <laughs> In order to move a box on a lonely platform, you'll need to build one next to it for you to stay. Like you need to build an additional one for you to stand on. Alright. the only perceivable move right now. Mm. Grab the monies. I didn't need to do that. That's the one that I need. Oh wait. Well wait, wait. I'm not sure if that's the one I need now. Cause that's gonna wither. And the 
blaze will come right through there. Oh, but it's blocked off by the entrance. But this, this, this piece will also be gone. Okay, I didn't. Okay, okay. I think that's all. Oops. Shoot. Okay. I didn't realize that I could make two of those. So. Oh, shoot. That's not going to work either. Um. Let's think about this a little bit. I definitely want this platform here. But how do I... Let's just go to the other side and take a look at what it looks like first. Okay. Confirmed. Can't make anything over here. Can't push that. Well, I just have to experiment on something. Is this something that's pushable? Nope. If that's not pushable... Mm, That should do it. Let's just see if it will. Yeah, it will. Oh. Uh, at least the game really doesn't make you redo things. I got these big flappy ears. I deserve that achievement. A new genius. After getting the key, Retona will be able to open the gate and travel between the worlds repeatedly. Okay, we know that already. Um, yeah, so it looks like the puzzles are just uh, going to continue like this. Was the right move? Was that the right move? No, that was not the right move. Now I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. Well, I mean, I, I think you have a pretty good idea of what this game is all about. Um, So I am going to stop here. I think. Okay, so I know I can make one projection. This is gonna weather. So, in order to push that down, we want to basically do that, right? Is there anything else we need to do? I don't 
don't think so. I think this puzzle is a bit easier than the others, unless I am missing something. Yes, I am missing something. What is it that you ask? What I'm missing is... How on earth I can... Oh, wait. That's all I had to do. It just requires flipping back and forth a couple of times. And go right back. Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, well, I'll take credit for being able to do this puzzle in one go. Push the box to the target position to press the bubble pressure switch. Right, we haven't seen any of these yet. What's that? It's bubbles. When the bubble pressure switch is pressed in the light world, the related bubbler will start emit a blue bubble, which will allow Retina to jump higher. This is like, um, those platforming games. Okay. Try and get the key. Hmm. This one. We you can't push that once it's there in place. Okay. Think a wee bit. Let's go check out what the other side looks like. I don't think there's any mobile blocks for me to get into. If the bubble pressure switch is not held down, the bubble in the shadow world will fire a deadly red bubble. Find time to unblock the bubble's power to hold down the switch and deactivate the bubbler. There's anything I can do there. So if I... Let me try this. Okay, so those are not pushable. Use the box and illusion to get the memory fragment, which Muzi.
Wait, wait, wait. Why is that pushable? Why was that pushable? It wasn't pushable before. Oops. I pushed that block all the way to the edge, and so of course, it was no longer something I could easily take care of. Ah, uh, no. Shoot, why do I keep on pushing it to the edge? Let's leave that alone because I keep on accidentally pushing it to where it doesn't need to go yet. That's clearly one of them. Why do I drop my illusions? can do to turn these things off. I can't use, I can't create illusions in this tutorial stuff. Okay. I guess I have to go across. Back to the light world. That turns that off. The illusion there. Are we okay? me reset. I was under the impression that I'm kind of confused. Oh no. At least resetting is easy. Pretty nice artwork in this game, I have to say. It's like... Okay, well... So with nothing there... Ah, it's because they're not being held. that over and set an illusion there and set an illusion there 
That should give me enough, uh... Aha, uh -huh. okay. Whoops. Looks like I set the illusions in the wrong spots. Wow. What seems like a seemingly simple puzzle is really making me uh, do and redo games, or making me do and redo puzzles. Okay, I just need something to completely block off the two of them. And right here, this is where one of the illusions needs to be. And the other one needs to be pushing down the block. Right, okay. Okay, well, let's grab the last crystal. Stone statue can also be used to catch something else rather than just boxes. The indicator box. What is the indicator box? I have no idea what that is. Um. Let's try it. What does that do? What happened? I have no idea what happened. Um, it pulls a box down. I'm more than confused, I think. Push the indicator box to the target position. I have no idea what this indicator box is. Go to the lever switch. It pulls a box on top until you... Okay. The cargo pad is composed of the cargo drop indicator box and lever switch when the lever switch is turned on the cargo drop will descend from the sky above the indicator until it falls on a platform if the platform disappears the cargo drop will continue to fall turn off the lever switch and the cargo drop will disappear into the sky use the cargo pad and illusion to complete this level I think that's where that's gotta go. And... Let's just take a peek. I feel like I'm still in a tutorial mode. I can't believe how long it took me to do some of those.
Looks like the puzzles just keep on going. I haven't pushed any buttons. In between levels, it's just an automatic scroll. Um, looks like there's conveyor belts, things that move up and down. So new things getting introduced all the time. Okay, well, I'll fly like an eagle. Didn't work. Alrighty, um, I think, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, this video has gone on for way longer than I anticipated just because of, okay, so it says return to town. Uh, so this video has turned out to be way longer than I expected. Do I need to go save? I don't know if I need to go save. But just in case. Okay, this tells you how many puzzles there are. So we complete this one at six. Six more. Seven. Six. Is that right? Seven. Yeah. Six. And seven. And so... That gives you an idea of how long the, the game is. Do I need to go up to bed and save the game? Maybe not. How do I quit? I guess that'll be it. Um, really interesting, pretty fun puzzle game. Looks like there's a lot more that I haven't even seen yet. Looks like I just finished the tutorial levels and... Uh, yeah, I mean... The puzzle took me a really long time. I really like this game. It's coming out uh, in a matter of a few hours, so I do hope that if the video interests you that you'll take a look at the game as well. Anyway, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to apologize for all of the retries and redos, and you probably saw the answers way ahead of me and just were dying a little bit on the inside because I was not able to solve any of the puzzles in a timely fashion, but it is what it is. It's also really, really late at night, so uh, I'm going to bed, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.